Hey everybody, so I am currently sitting in Columbus, Ohio. Um, tomorrow um, I am competing in a collegiate horse judging competition at the All-American Quarter Horse Congress. So I figured I'd just give you a little update since you probably haven't heard a lot from me. Um, very excited. We're currently working on our last set of reasons before the big competition. Uh, we'll be getting ready to set up our notebooks and stuff like that in about an hour. Um, so just kind of want to give you a little heads up. That's what I've been doing and just some things that I kind of been thinking of. Um, I'm sitting in Congress. So there's these two big arenas and we sit and we judge class after class after class. Um, to see like different kinds of classes. We judge a lot of harder classes, um, which deals more with confirmation and structural correctness. Um, the, like the main key points of a horse. So we watched a lot of that um, the past couple days we arrived here Saturday. So it's kind of interesting to watch, but as I look through, like I'm really thinking about the spring semester and um, teaching my equine science class and looking at CDEs and thinking about the horse judging CDE and thinking about how I can really set my students up for success if they're interested in horse judging at all. Um, so when we look at a class, we obviously, um, the American Quarter Horse Congress is one of the biggest shows in the world. So each class does not just have four horses, which is what a normal class for a CDE would be. So we pick <clears throat> the first four horses in a row and we go through and we judge them um, individually. We write in our little standard notebooks. Uh, we take notes that we think are important about um, the structural correctness, the muscle, um, the quality of the horse. Sometimes we'll talk about the way of going, but nine times out of ten we don't fully know uh, which four we're judging when they start walking in. And that's pretty much the only time that you have to judge that aspect. So <clears throat> then after we're done judging and taking our own notes, we go and we sit and we write our reasons um, or we talk about it. So when I get to this part in time, like I know that I struggle with my reasons, which is why it just took me a little longer to complete my last set. Um, but we have a different way of setting up our notebooks. So when I'm looking at the way that we set up our notebooks and I can think about how I can, sorry, I'm trying to find my notebook here to show you how we can um, better prepare our students for CDEs in horse judging and being able to explain to them um, how we go about why we picked our each class. So I know this is going to be kind of difficult to see. I don't know if you can see it or not. So I put my placing at the top and over here I would have my name and my class and then I do horse one through four. Um, in the side, in this side that has the number, I write down positive things about the animal. Um, in this side that doesn't have the number, I write down maybe things that are, you know, could be improved upon for the horse. Then once I'm done with that, I make sure that I take a lot of notes and I go to my next page, which the little dashes at the top of the page um, state the placing. Like I'll put my placing of like one, two, three, four. Well then when I move on, what I would do is write, um, like in here, it would be animal one over two. And then I would say like why that animal one did better than two. Over here, I would grant what two had better than one. And then down here at the bottom, I say, well, two lack this. This is why he is placed second. So things like that, um, setting up your notebook like that, um, some people may not understand, but it like really helps and it's beneficial. And it's easier... You have to learn your reasons when you're trying to um, talk them. It's better to learn them rather to memorize them. But if you get lost, it's easy to um, see where on your where on your notebook you'll be at. So just some little things that I've been thinking of while I'm sitting at Congress. Um, I'm trying to multitask doing my homework and being a good team player for my senior team. Um, we're very excited to compete tomorrow. Uh, we'll be judging 12 classes and we'll be giving five sets of reasons. So it'll be a long day, but it'll be fun. Um, so I just wanted to give you 
a little bit of what we've been doing this week um, to tell you like what I've been up to since I haven't been there. But I thank you guys all for your support. And if you have any questions about my the way I set up my notebook or how I go about my reasons, I'd be sure to answer any. Or I would sure love to have any advice. But very excited to let you know you guys know how the team and me as an individual do tomorrow. So we'll keep in touch. Thanks.